If you walk around in this world thinking that men hate women or are looking to take advantage of women, you are going to miss out on some of the greatest joys in life. We are going ah. to be taking today this male privilege test, I which uh, I want to make sure they have this context for you. It's uh, It was created by a cartoonist, a left-wing cartoonist, Barry Deutsch. And uh, no. what's most important is it's since been used by the National Organization for Men Against Sexism, uh, Product Humanity from this Arizona guy. State University, Diversity mm. and Social Justice at California State University, and the University of Western Australia, along with other prominent organizations. Yeah. So, at one point, you would think this was a joke quiz. Like, back in the early days of the right. internet, you'd right. be like, is, is Mr. World f- first name Ebom at the helm of this? <laughs> 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 or perhaps dot com first name break? Like, you would think that this was a joke this is an actual privilege test a male privilege checklist actually Mm. uh that we are all going to take together i guess these aren't really questions these are just things that you have to check right okay Okay. Okay. you're You're supposed to have a little check checking your privilege so we'll go through this number one my odds of being hired for a job when competing against female applicants are probably skewed in my favor the more prestigious the job the larger the odds are skewed your thoughts half asian bill yes they are and that really? is because I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Not it just has women. nothing to do Everyone. with anything else. Really? Okay. <laughs> that's that's a, superiority. That's a, yeah. But against female applicants. Against all applicants, really. I am better than the ladies you're and just, the men. You're better than wow. all the above. Yep. How about uh, Gerald? And, and I, I don't know. Being a SOM, I guess? Yeah. Uh, just to be know. clear, by the way, started women, this they business, already do so. dominate jobs in the humanities, and uh, though there aren't uh, as many in the uh, the STEM fields, they're actually twice as likely to be yeah. hired. Oh. Can, can, can I, okay. uh, I, can I critique yeah, the Twice question. as likely as comparably yeah. uh, qualified men to be hired in STEM simply because there's a push for women in these fields. So that's the one area where you could say there's a disproportionate number of men, but oh. actually women are twice as likely to be hired. They just mm-hmm. don't want to do those jobs. Mm. Number three, if I am never promoted, and I want you guys to take this, by the way. This is the Barry Deutsch. We'll have right. the link. Uh, I think we have a box right now yeah. up here with a link and a link underneath in the description. You should all take this because this just goes to show you, this is very much, you know what it is? It's like psychics. It's the BS from psychics. I'm seeing that you have uh, a relative. Is it John? Is it Jake? It's like, I did have a Jasper. Blonde hair. You're so close. This can apply to everyone. This is designed to make you think that everybody out there, not only applicants, not only employees, but everyone doing the hiring, everyone in the legislative blanche, uh, blanche, branch <laughs> or the legislative blanchette ah. depending yeah. overrated i prefer naomi watts the point is wow. executive judicial legislative employees employers this test yeah. is designed to no matter how you answer yeah. everyone is sexist yes number three if i am never promoted it's not because of my sex that's, that's audio true. way you're persnickety when it comes to grammar that's a double negative that's how do a, i answer I mean, that at least two negatives yeah so uh i if i am never promoted it's not because of my sex so if i i'm not if comfortable I, calling it unbullshit <laughs> check is it's not sort of asking the questions like could this be appropriate in this room because sometimes right. there are realms where you're going you know what women tend sure. to perform better in these yeah. fields of work whether it's watching working with children for example women yeah. are more trustworthy yeah. women are less likely to harm a child i will say this here at this office when we have people who work abroad we've had better luck with women being self-starters and on the flip side we've had better luck with men sort of being in the pocket and high pressure scenarios being comfortable that being said not all women not all men but we've definitely had better luck with women sort of being self-leaders it's, yeah. well, it's and a, I take that into account. It's yeah. a question of percentages versus individuals, right? right. If, you, if you take the statistical uh, summaries of an entire populace and then you say this defines the individual, you have a problem. That's what racists do. Racists say, I'm going to take this entire stereotype and I'm going to say it applies to every individual regardless of their circumstance. Right. But that's what this test is, is doing. It's saying, I'm going to apply this stereotype to every single employee and right. employer regardless of what they actually do. Right. right. And it, like, it's oversimplification. Yes, right. it would be like saying because coronavirus was part of some plot in a bioweapons chemical facility in Beijing, I need to execute half Asian Bill every time he gets a sniffles. Pretty much. Agreed. Six. If I do the same task as a woman and if the measurement is at all subjective, chances are people will think I did a better job. No, absolutely not. I think it's the other way around. Yeah. Okay. 
I don't know. <laughs> I think sometimes it is and sometimes John, it isn't. Well, like, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But that being yeah. said, particularly in the realm of comedy, so I'm talking about what I know in the realm mm. of entertainment, there are far lower standards for women in comedy. Let me explain what I mean with this. There are some Samantha very B. funny women out there. Samantha B. yes. There's some very <laughs> funny women out there. One of my favorite comedians ever is Kathleen Madigan. I okay. think yeah, she's, she's, very she's funny. far left. I think she's, uh, you know, you would say maybe she's really more of a Rust Belt Democrat. But she's a well-known Democrat, toured with Lewis Black. I think she's very funny. That being said, a lot of the times people will say, well, if you watch, used to be premium Glenn on Comedy Central, any sort of showcase comedy set, they'll say, really, for every eight men, there are two women, or there are, five, there are four women. They want it to be 50-50. Here's yeah. the thing. If you go to an open mic, or if you go to a city, anywhere in the country right now, and you look at the comedy show, you'll probably see 10% of the comedians entering into comedy are women. Let's yeah. call it 25 on the high end. But yeah. if it's 25%, that's the total talent pool, and you are making them 50% of the representatives in the comedy world. Right. You, just like in STEM fields, are more right. likely to advance women in comedy to prove that women are funny. What does that do? That undercuts women who are really actually funny out there. Right. Exactly. Why does Samantha Bee have a show and someone like <laughs> Kathleen Madigan doesn't? It's exactly. like we're throwing we're throwing Lily Tomlin, uh, uh, Kathleen Madigan, and, 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 uh, and uh, what's the name? The Michelle Wolf in the same... <laughs> <laughs> Under the same no, umbrella. Oh yeah, the it should just be really thing. if you're funny or not. That's it. It should. Right. Can you do the yep. job that people are asking you to do? And if you can, fantastic. If you can't, I'm sorry. Go get more training. Go go. Tr you know, do other shows and get funnier. Number uh, seven. <laughs> if I'm a teen or adult, it was a catchy nickname. I know. Didn't stay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> And if I can stay out of prison, my odds of being raped are relatively low. That's not a what? fair question. Relatively. Why don't Relatively. we include prison? Why don't we include prison? Because it makes the numbers higher. You're like, well, that's not. Well, the guys being raped in prison aren't big fans of it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Why are they They'd like a vote. <laughs> Some might. I don't know. And so let's include not... the prison rapes. There you go. I didn't ever thought I would be saying that. Like, I want you to include prison rape. I'm just saying yeah. in this test to be well, the accurate. sole reason it wasn't. They specifically included. took it out. It got really quiet. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. a little weird. Prison well, rape. It, okay. Oh, eight. On average, I am taught to fear walking alone. I, I, I am taught to fear walking alone after dark in average public spaces, much less than my female counterparts are. Interesting. You should bring that up yeah. because men are robbed far more often than mm. women. Yeah, and I, I think the they are. If you're weaker, like if you're a small guy you have a, maybe a little bit higher chance of being yes. picked on in a, yeah. an average public place. If you're a big guy like me or you walking, we probably have a less less of a chance. It's because the other guy can't kick our ass. Right. Sorry. If you're a female with a gun, you're probably walking pretty confident. Right? <laughs> Number nine. If I choose not to have children, my masculinity will not be called into question. I, I don't feel like that question has a sexual premise at all or a gender-based premise at all. No, that being said, I, I will tell it's you what does. Except if a woman is unable to conceive, typically speaking, women are very, her friends are very supportive, very sympathetic. Yeah. If a man is firing blanks, you just get mocked mercilessly. Mercilessly, <laughs> yes. We, yep. we don't like each other a lot. It's true. We don't <laughs> yeah. treat each other very well. No, no, we really don't. So I don't really know if this is all that relevant. Here's the other question. Um, who is it that's calling women's you know, femininity into question if they don't want to have kids? Is it men? Well, I think it's or like the, it social, women? Women. the social construct. Yeah, it's, it's other women that would that would ask the question more. Like than it's men, mothers, it's yeah. grandmothers, yeah. it's aunts. If I have children but do not provide primary care for them, my masculinity will not be called into question. Do what? you mean legally <laughs> alimony laws? You yeah, dick. What? <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking about our women. Can we talk about question structure? <laughs> <laughs> These aren't questions, man. <laughs> Whatever they are, can we talk about the freaking structure? <laughs> I guarantee you that if we were to say the question structure is a byproduct of the patriarchy, we could get uh, Barry Deutsch, <laughs> Deutsch to apologize. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Patriarchical <laughs> questions. You know what I really want to know is what does Barry Patriarch Deutsch know people? about the woman's experience anyways? <laughs> yes. Can we show him? Barry. Him? He's yeah. been both. Barry. Yeah. There, there he is. Look at there. Yeah. Yeah, is that really He's him? at least one of no. them. Oh, is that, that's him? <laughs> that's him. It's like that fish. You know, the fish. Yeah. With the, I, I, yeah, I, I, have, yeah. Yeah. I have to retract my <laughs> tirade. I'm so sorry, Barry is a woman. <laughs> Number 13, if I seek political office, my relationship with my children, or who I hire to take care of them, a little bit of a reference to number 12, uh, <laughs> will probably not be scrutinized by the press. Do you mean like President Donald Trump's right? relationship uh, with his son, with his daughter? Yeah, it's a BS question. I mean, what, 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 are we what are we talking about here? I, no, it's remarkable. It's equal on this one. When I ask to see the person in charge, odds are I will face a person of my own sex. The That's higher up true. in the organization the person is, it depends. That's Am 
by not, shopping that's not at true. Talbots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Williams Sonoma, your favorite place. It's all it's all Well, hold on, by the way. Everywhere. At every you know, when I go to go with my wife when we go shopping, every store is just men everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly yeah. every no, every manager. That's not true. All the all of the men who are managers, they're named Karen. As a child, I, as a man, was encouraged uh, to be more right. active. Okay, I'm an idiot. Let's run my sisters. But sisters, but you could also be encouraged. a girl and have look, sisters. Look, yeah, here's the problem. <laughs> there, gee, every Tell single, me, Mr. Bitters. every. F- <laughs> Every single one of these questions is saying, okay, are there some people in the world who are sh- bags and decide that they're going to raise That's their question sisters we got, yeah, we and that. daughters yeah, yeah. to not be active and outgoing? And now you're right. going to take that and say every single male has that privilege because they were told to be active and outgoing, regardless of whether they had sisters. And even if their sisters were encouraged to do that, it doesn't matter because we're just going to take this stereotype and just run it all over yeah, the world. It, so I'll put you down as a maybe. As yes, a maybe. thank you. Uh, I never cheated off yeah. of any men. No, it was only women. <laughs> only women. AP yeah. physics, AP bio. I didn't cheat anything. Oh my out. god, I feel so sorry for your classmates because I guarantee they were cheating off you. Yeah. I know, I know. The You're guys not one would of those be like, Asians. "Hey, you, Bill, you you didn't write anything. Are you like waiting to the end? Do you like have all the answers in your head?" And I was like, "No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm waiting for inspiration." The girl I cheated off of. I've told the story on air uh, before several times. I cheated off her in physical science my entire year. Mm. Because I didn't understand the teacher. He had a weird accent. I just uh-huh. didn't do very well. <laughs> and so I was just cheating off her. And then we had a standardized government exam at the end of the year. Ruh, ruh. Where mm. now your teacher was no longer in charge of your grades. And so she told me, she's like, yep, okay, I'll help you. I'll let you read off my test. We're in the middle of the exam. I'm like, hey, Sarah, can you move your shoulder? She sat right in front of me. Yeah. I want to look over her shoulder. And she just turns back. She goes, no, Stephen, I'm not going to help you. You should have studied. And I was like, what the I'm going to ruin your life. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> I was so furious, but I had no recourse. I'm like, oh, no. Sarah, Sarah, tilt over your shoulder. Tilt over your shoulder. Tilt over your shoulder. I swear to you, I had no leverage. Where no, I'm the one that robbed you. You just kept escalating oh, your empty oh, threats. Man. <laughs> and like, I knew I was totally wrong. Was like, this is a bad feeling. I don't want to do this again, but I did. If my day, week, or year is going badly, number 19, I need not ask of each negative episode or situation whether or not it has sexist overtones. I'm not doing this one because it's written poorly. That's poorly. Yeah. Shut that next, one up. To I'm going to read the next one. Okay. Imagine the kind of person who would have put something like this together. Everything, everything that happens in the world is just mm-hmm. another story to add into their victim. Yeah. Hood. I mean, their entire story is if there if there are two men on the cover of the New York Times who are dead bodies, where are the women? Well, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, everything yeah, can yeah. be I hate victimhood. To, I hate to refute what you're saying, but to let's bring up it. that picture yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, yeah. The, yeah. Come on, yeah. that that uh, guy yeah. is yeah. swimming in it. Comic well, I don't. Guy. It could be that a woman. Guy. <laughs> Comic book guy. For I'm not sure the gender. <laughs> Comic book guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold on. He looks like he crawled. Yeah, he does Simpsons. look like a comic book he does. guy. He does yeah. look like yeah. a guy. He's, He's not wearing yeah. actually. Yeah. Mm. He looks like uh, remember Ninja, Tur- Ninja Turtles two Secret of the Ooze. Of yes. He looks like he's the ooze. <laughs> <laughs> he he played the ooze character. He's the inverted played by photo. <laughs> Not, uh, yeah. Not no, I mean, here's the, you know what's crazy George. about this? That's actually a good point that you bring up. Uh, real housewives. Yeah. Are there any real house husbands? No. Real stay at home. <laughs> I think we call real those stay stay real, real stay at home dads of Poughkeepsie. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just throwing a throwing some Jägermeister. Get out of here! Yeah. Like, there, are, there, there are plenty of sh- there's yeah. there are plenty of women's only yeah. uh, women only gyms. Right, there are plenty yeah. of women only shows. But anytime guys have a guy, only, it, it almost is not yeah, existent. You it cannot be allowed. And I tell you right. what, I think that it's a good thing for women to have women only spaces right. sometimes, and guys to have guy only spaces sometimes. Yeah. And that being said, yeah. there is an imbalance right now. Where think, what can you think of that is a male only space? I- exclusively country club locker. Now right. I know most people say like a cigar lounge a cigar lounge I go to is really like 35% women surprising yeah, amount yeah, yeah. but I can't go to curves what no. is there that, that's the you equivalent yeah. for men right now uh, I mean I, I think the other question is like who cares right like, <laughs> yeah, well, so, yeah. if I'm careless with my driving it won't be attributed to my sex well, here's nope. the thing actually that's men have to pay way more for car insurance right. true uh, yeah, at least they. during their teen years right yeah because well, yes. they're more yeah. reckless yeah, totally. I think. yeah. Yeah. Teens and twenties because they're more risk taking. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, I have a theory about that. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think that men typically, speak, in my experience, Insurance are more rates. comfortable with. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing: all of us have wives. Yes. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you are in the car, you're both in the car. Neither one of you yeah. has some kind of a disability. Who drives? I tend to. I tend to. Yeah. Eh, depends on the car. I drive my car. She drives hers. Okay. I tend to. Do, I do. do you tend I to? Do. Do I, do. I tend to drive both. I, I do because I like. There's serving. more likelihood like that you serving. will. 
accrue an accident if you're driving all the time. And that being said, mm-hmm. women don't get an particularly like they, I do not believe for one second this statistic that teenage girls are less risky than boys driving. Right, you know why? Right. Because we see a teenage girl and that glow of the android against their face, and we are <laughs> yeah. going three lanes. Yes, yes. three yeah. wide. It's yeah. like parting the Red Sea. Wide. Yeah. yeah. Number 24, okay. even if I sleep with a lot of women, there is no chance I will be seriously labeled a slut, well, it's nor a is there any word. male counterpart to slut bashing. Yes, there is. There it's, is. it's called being a f- boy. Yeah. Yeah. Bear. Well, yeah, bear. yeah. Well, that's that's for that's for uh, gays. No, 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 it's not. It's not. No, it's, no. Yeah, it's for both. Yeah. It's well, for I've everybody. heard the term. So there was a term cad. Mm. And generally right. speaking, like you'll just yeah. see like a guy I'm like, oh, he's a douche. Oh, okay. He's yeah. a douche. Yeah. Douche is what I would call. Like when, yeah. when, when, when women say this is kind of more, this is indicative of a bigger problem. They say the, the, the term is loaded here, slut. But we don't call guys sluts, just so we don't typically. Oh, uh, I will say, man whore. In hip hop, they call men bitches. That's kind yeah. of a new That's thing. True, but for the yeah. longest time, you don't call a guy a bitch. But women aren't typically called ass. Right. Yeah. Women aren't called pricks. It's just there are different insults for different people, just like the racial epithets. And they're all fun. They're all the colors of the rainbow. Well, and, and as and don't limit is, yourself to just one. Well, a point that you made before for a woman to have sex, all she has to do is go out and say yes. It's not like you're high fiving. There's no achievement right. there. There's nothing that you've actually done. And I'm not saying you should do it, but if a guy is trying to do that, he has a much higher chance of failure than a woman yeah, does. Kind if of she's impressive. Going out doing if it. every worker bee was high fiving the queen bee after another exactly. worker bee went up, it would just be nonstop. She high would, five. She would have no more handlers. Yeah, that's handlers. I didn't well, know if it was a hand or antler. Handler. So handler. Handler. You just split yeah. the difference. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if I buy a new car, chances are I'll be off a better price than a woman buying the same car bs do you know do you not have a cell phone a better deal than i have do you not have a cell phone where you shop it and go oh here's like the best price that i can get down the street okay i'll give it to you i mean what world are these guys living in still not only that hold on hold on hold on hold on (laughs) hold on hold on hold on on. again this goes back to the clothes and the capital markets okay women are choosing not to be confrontational my wife and i went to a dealer not not far from here and i said let me do the negotiating and she said okay and while we were sitting there as a negotiating technique i ordered uber eats (laughs) and the food came (laughs) and at one moment i said hold on and i walked out got my firehouse subs walked back in and started eating it and said you have until I finish the sandwich to come back to her with a better offer. And she literally in front of the guy goes, just just we'll pay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh. And so oh, now, now, undercutting now you. is that not to say, you know, I mean, I don't care about the undercutting part. But undercutting you. You must have given Gerald, her, did you, you give can't her? beat my wife, okay? <laughs> no, but you can't. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> give her a fresh but, one. But, but my point, Go in there and give her a shot. I gave her a sandwich too. Okay. So, oh, so, the, so the point was is that for whatever reason, she didn't feel comfortable to push yeah. back and like get a better deal. And yeah. I felt more than comfortable doing that or playing yeah. a game of negotiating a car. Now, that's that's not to say that maybe during the course of growing up that there weren't people who discouraged her from doing that. Whether it was a man or a woman, though, I don't know. Right. Because I see a lot of women discouraging other women from being forward or being My, my know, wife aggressive. is fantastic at this. So, she is by great the way, wife, too. I, too, yeah. refer difficult. to my left hook as a sandwich. <laughs> so, oh, but wow. that being said, my wife punch? has gotten more free coffees. Yeah. Than I can ever, she would just be like, oh, yeah, well, I came back from Starbucks and they didn't try. I go, what? You didn't pay... You, you, I gave her a 10. She comes what? back with a 10 back when I used to have cash. You know, this was like, you yep. know, Reagan was president. 20 years ago. Um, but then, <laughs> and I was a fetus. Um, yeah. And uh, I'll, well, she goes, well, I didn't, the guy didn't charge me. I go, what? She goes, yeah, it happens all the time. I go, well, that's, that's not common. She goes, what? It's not common? No, it's, it's a <laughs> place that sells coffee. They generally yeah. charge yeah, you right. for coffee. If they don't sell you that coffee, they're not doing anything. She's like, well, why would he do that? <laughs> because he wants to have sex with you. I am not conventionally attractive. The disadvantages are relatively small and easy to ignore. I've never called that my disadvantage before, but... I don't think it's that. that Come on, you're a good-looking enough guy. It, it, it depends on who's that taking the... It, it depends yeah. on who's taking this test. Yeah. If it's like... Uh, if it's Kate Bosworth and Clint Howard, you're going to skew the bell curve. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, I imagine guy. Barry writing this question, <laughs> <laughs> crying onto the notepad. <laughs> if I'm not yeah. conventionally I'm not attractive, <laughs> he looks like. Bring him Sorry. back up. He looks like uh, where the wild things are. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. the guy weren't allowed to sleep oh. in the big pile, uh, <laughs> they shaved one of the guys down a little bit. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it for this guy, but I'm just What's, saying he did it to himself. Thirty-three. My ability to make important decisions and my capability in general will never be questioned, depending on what time of the month it is. Well, listen, that's just because we need to know when to cut a white swan. Yeah, that's just for safety. Right. That's out of concern for you as much as ourselves. Yeah. And that's also one that, by the way, is used both sets. I don't think, I don't think that men in the workplace are like, oh, it's that time of the month. I've never had that happen. But I have had women be yeah. like, I'm sorry when they've treated someone really poorly. They go, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm on my period. And we're just like, oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> 
That happens. Doesn't happen to us. I, I've, yeah. Yeah. I've only heard it referenced by women. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. By the way, did you, know, did you know that women don't have to go through that? My wife. Periods? Yes, you can. You can take mm. uh, birth control your entire life. Yeah, but not oh, when yeah, have children. Yes, Science you can time. because Mr. we're pregnant. Hormones. So you can I stop. Don't know, you know, I don't even want to get into this. <laughs> Next one. Uh, every major religion in the world is led primarily by people of my own sex. Even God in most major religions is pictured as male. I love Here we this go. One. I the love ultimate this patriarchy. God is male. I love this one. I love this one. Hey, I just want you to be very clear. Everyone out there, I'm looking right in the camera. If you are religious, you're a sexist. Yes, <laughs> that's true. It. That's the end. Of, that's the end. That's true. That's the end of the question. If I have a wife or living girlfriend, chances are we'll divide up household chores so that she does most of the labor. What? In particular, what? the most repetitive and unrewarding tasks. Oh, what the <laughs> hell are you talking Wait, about? Wait, what does here? this even mean? It, it means that you yeah. give your wife the shit work to do <laughs> yeah, and uh, more yeah. of it. Yeah. Now, a lot yeah. of times, a lot of relationships, the wife may take on more of those responsibilities because she likes it better that well, way. Sometimes, I don't, you know. It, well, if, if are you the both wife working? Is a, or are you yeah, working? If the, well, whoever stays at home should be da doing the bulk of household right. chores, by yeah. the way. And right. I don't know if you know this, but women's burden of household chores have gone down significantly since the 50s, as well as their personal happiness. Not saying that there's necessarily a causation yeah. there, but I'm saying this idea that women not having to do household chores yeah. should suddenly free them and allow them to be happier, that's not true. Didn't really also, work out. Also, let's see how you all like taking out the trash. 41. Right. Assuming I am heterosexual, magazines, Assuming. billboards, television, movies, pornography, and virtually all of media is filled with images of scantily clad women intended to appeal to me sexually. Such images of men exist but are rare. I love how he loaded rare. it back into the question. I like He's it. like, by the way, they do exist, but they're, they're rare. Hey, oh, they're, you know, they're rare, except for Amber's yeah, cast. Tell that to the Marvel. Folsom Street Fair. He said, assuming heterosexuality. Ah, uh, why do we do that? Just like eliminating know. prison yeah. rape? I know, well, just by, Captain you know. America. He wants the answer, and he's going to get totally the answer gay. that he wants. Um, I do I do think that the underlying request here of this, of this question is that there are more pictures of scantily clad men. Barry. Like, isn't that... Is that what Barry's asking for? <laughs> I think so. He's asking for it. I think so. Just like oh, you know, and he, he, hold on a second. He included a P.O. box. What the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying there are scantily clad Barry. women out there. Barry. Yeah. With men, like you see men like Gucci or Armani right. or shirtless. That being said, yeah. there are no sexual glands, organs, or True. signals there. In other words, when we talk right. about bio, well, we talk about sort of the bioevolutionary mechanisms, right? When a man looks at a woman who's in a bikini, True. what does he see? He sees breasts. Huh. Those feed young, ba those feed babies. Those are yeah. important. He sees birthing hips, right? The one thing that would actually, like, <laughs> yeah. nipples on a man are nice. inconsequential. It's they almost are, like yeah. they're basically a mistake. Just why the guy from One Direction has three of them. Oh, but um, yeah. they, they look, and unless we have, I mean, put it this way, the equivalent would be, you know, you see in all the sports, is it Sports Illustrated where they do the body yeah. paint that looks like a swimsuit? Maybe. Yeah. Is that it sports is. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They have the body yeah, paint, yeah. you look, and you're like, oh, it's really painted. Imagine if I just walked around and I painted my <laughs> my balls like a bumblebee. <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, no, this is just a bumblebee thunder it's down art. under sock. And then someone's like, wait, those are actually your testicles painted like a bumblebee. Yeah, no one will be <laughs> rushing out to get that magazine. <laughs> In general, I am under much less pressure to be thin than my female counterparts are. If I am fat, I probably suffer fewer social and economic consequences for being fat. Can we bring back up? Yeah, <laughs> wishful thinking. Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first question. In the head, like, and uh, if, I if I'm happens. fat, if I'm fat, okay. if, you know. Sexual harassment on the street virtually never happens to me. I do not need to plot my movements through public space in order to avoid being sexually harassed or to mitigate sexual harassment. No, but a, a panda can wish. <laughs> it happens to me. All I will the time. say this: I think that women are obviously more likely to be sexually harassed. Now yes. we need to differentiate between even when the women put these videos online that said I was catcalled, and it, some of the men were saying, "You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen." I don't think that's sexual harassment. Yeah. Right. It, it's if every person. unwanted advancement is sexual harassment, then there we would have no couples. That's yeah. right. Because at sooner or later, a man has to take a risk saying, you have a beautiful smile, or I love the way your hair looks, or wow, you're beautiful. Now, someone's saying, hey, come on over here. And get, of course, that's completely outside of the realm of propriety. That being said, uh, most men want to kick those men's asses. Yes. We're right. not fans of it either. Right. Number 47, the last one. Curb stomp. I have, oh, and this is the one. <laughs> I love it. Number 47. Oh, no, come on. From Woo! Barry Deutsch. <laughs> I have the privilege of being unaware uh, can we bring this up? Bring it up. Unaware of my male privilege. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Blissfully unaware. I, of your male I gotta ask, what kind of selfish chauvinist <laughs> writes an article like this? Yeah, I'm he should have given it to a woman. I can just see him sitting on his bed weeping. 
yeah. because of all his male privilege. Yeah. But you wouldn't know uh, where to get rid of You wouldn't know it. where his weird anamorphic amoebic yeah. body ends and the tears begin. Right, yeah. It would all just end yeah. up in a pool of ooze and pudding. <laughs> Here's one thing I will say. Poor guy. Um, men are wicked. This is something that I think is important, okay? We can talk about patriarchy, but I want to leave on this note. And this is what's so toxic with this, is that it presumes that men are looking to take advantage of, exploit, or that, or you know what? Overall, that we hate women. I will tell you this. This is a point that you brought up earlier where you're mm-hmm. talking about women mistreating other women. Yeah. yeah. I was talking about my wife who was mm-hmm. called women like, oh, that's, she's such a shrew, someone who's, yeah. who's mean and gossipy and catty. Men as a general, now there are exceptions, guys who beat their wives, of course, just like there are exceptions of women who have crack babies, right? Who don't take care of their children. That being said, men, typically speaking, every man in this room is looking to love women. Right? They're looking to enjoy the company yep. of women. That's why we work so hard at trying to find a woman. That's why we're willing to take the risk of facing public embarrassment by going to speak to a strange woman. And women don't yeah. typically do that with men because we desire women at a very deep, and I mean spiritual, emotional, physical level. That being said, women often are looking to compete with other women. Men tend to treat women better than a lot of women treat women, just as women, not Feminists, women tend to treat men better than most men treat other men. I think there's this ill-conceived notion that men, all of a sudden, we get behind closed doors without women, and we're just, everything is hunky-dory, we're nice with each other, we're plotting on how we can take advantage of women, when the truth is, most men go into the workforce, right? they go to their place of work, it is an absolute pride-swallowing siege, they work with guys they don't like, you're constantly being knocked around, people are giving each other a hard time, and they want to come home into the warm embrace and the solace of their wife, because that is their favorite person. If you walk around in this world thinking that men hate women or are looking to take advantage of women, you are going to miss out on some of the greatest joys in life, namely the differences between men and women and why we desire each other to complete one another. It's a beautiful thing. And instead, you've turned it into a pile of your face, Barry Deutsch. You've turned it into something as ugly as you. Shame on you, but you are still cordially invited onto this show. No, your screen's not frozen. This is one of those, this is one of those moving pictures. Talkies. See that? Okay. Uh, there's a video playing somewhere in a box. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell uh, if you are subscribed because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. But we really do love having you on this channel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this Bernie video because I know he didn't. Um, and I can, you know, I can still live with myself. It didn't freeze, it's still me. Okay, click one of the things.